Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these long wavy beaded earrings. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell, please like, share and comment and with this you help me so much. You might consider also becoming a member which comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button and just to give you an idea that if you continue this pattern you could create a bracelet as well. Now without further delay let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using for this earring are really simple stuff. 11 seed beads in three colors turquoise pink and black. Here I'm using earring finding sliver bags you could use others of your choice. This is Nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. This is size 11 beading needle. These are scissors and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and later I will add more thread and I'll be back. Okay guys so first I take on my needle a black and a pink bead. I slide those down. I go back through the black one and you see now they are next to each other touching. Then I go through the pink one one more time. I need a turquoise and I go back through the pink one just like this. You see I have a loop here between my beads and they are touching side to sides, holes pointing in one direction. Okay, you see holes are in one direction and they are touching side to side. Then I take again a pink one And a black one. And with this guys my first row is ready. For my next row I take a black and a pink. And I go under this first thread bridge here. And I go through this pink one. Then I take a turquoise. I go here under this thread bridge. And backwards through this turquoise one. Then I take a pink one. And I go through it. One black. Just like this. And here guys, I'm out of thread bridges, but I'm using this was thread bridge one more time. And I have this. I need another row of brick stitch where I increase. That is why I take a black and a turquoise and I go under this first thread bridge between the first and the second black one. Okay, then I go through the turquoise bead. I 
I need another black bead here. Then pink turquoise pink. And here guys, at the last step, I need black bead again. Then I need a black and a pink and I go here again under the first thread bridge because I'm still increasing my work. I'm doing increasing brick stitch. If you're not familiar, don't worry, just follow the steps. And then I will show you at one point how to do decreasing brick stitch. Okay. I'm doing the same thing, adding two going under the first thread bridge and going through the one that is closer to the center and then turquoise bead. pink bead a black one two turquoise one by one and a black Okay guys, and I'm still increasing my work, but now I want two black and two turquoise. And what I do is that I go under the first thread bridge, but why I take double the amount of beads? Because in this row it will be like a double brick stitch. And it is the same thing, just instead of adding two you add four, and instead of going through one, at this step you go through two. Okay, it's easy. Now, instead of adding the beads one by one, you add them two by two. So I take two, go under the next thread bridge, and through these two. Again, two turquoise. Now I need two black beads. In my next step I need two pink. And then two turquoise, two pink, two black.
guys and now I have three black and three pink beads and I'm starting a row with a triple brick stitch and again I'm increasing I have more beads in this row that is why I'm going under the first thread bridge and then my next step is to go through these three pink beads that are closer to the center of my work and just pull then I need three turquoise beads go under the next thread bridge and backwards to all of those three beads and then three pink next step is three black beads and then four columns of three turquoise and one column of three black beads turn your work guys the way it's easier for you now my friends uh, what I'm going to do is to repeat this part but the other way around so I'm going to take two black and two turquoise and what I do this time is that I will be decreasing that is why I will go under the second thread bridge between the second and the third turquoise bead okay so this is how I decrease I go under the second thread bridge instead of the first one and then I go through these two turquoise that are closer to the center of my work and this is the same but you see how here I have the gap between this column and this column this is because my beads stretch as they go under the second thread bridge and this means that I will need to make an additional thread pad to make them stay next to each other not to be awkward and wonky and that is why I'm reinforcing them and I'm pushing them as close as possible to my work then I need two turquoise beads and I'm going under the next thread bridge then two turquoise and two black then I will show this faster 
to pink to turquoise to pink to black. Okay, my friends, and now I will make four rows of single brick stitch, which will be the same as this one. And the first element will be ready. Okay, again, I'm decreasing. I'm going here under the second thread bridge like I did before. I'm going through the one which is closer to the center of my work. And I'm reinforcing. Now I will continue with this row faster. Turquoise, pink, black, two turquoise and black. Okay, now black and turquoise, then black, pink, turquoise, pink, black. The next row will be black, pink, turquoise, pink and two blacks. Again second thread bridge and reinforce. Still decreasing. Next row is black and pink.
and this one guys is like a basis to start my next element okay guys and i want to flip this element the next element which is similar to this one the other way around i want to mirror it and how i'm going to do this i take two black beads and i go here under the first thread bridge because i will be increasing okay and i go like this through the one which is closer to the center of my work then i need a pink bead i go here and backwards take a turquoise and backwards then a pink and a black i add here the pink one And because I'm out of thread bridges, this one I add here at this last thread bridge where I added the pink one. And again, I'm going backwards through it. I take a black and a pink and go under the first thread bridge. And from here on, it is also similar, just you will see how this element flips the other way around. black then again one turquoise and here you see i'm starting this part and i need one black bead Then I need a black and a turquoise and I go here under this first thread bridge. And through the turquoise one. Then I need another turquoise. And maybe you guess what's coming up next. Black, pink, turquoise, pink, black. And here, as always, I go under the same thread bridge because I don't have any other options. Okay. It is the part where I continue with two beads. If you watch from this part, it is the same but just flipped. Okay, I take two black and two pink beads and because I'm still increasing, I'm going under the first thread bridge here and through the pink ones. Then I continue two turquoise, two pink, two black, three times two turquoise and two blacks.
Now it comes the widest part with triple brick stitch. And I start with three black and three turquoise. And again, because it is the widest part and I increase, I go under the first thread bridge. Then I'm going through these three turquoise beads. And I will continue showing you faster this row. Ok guys, and now this is half of my earring done. I'm sure that if you have done it up to here, you will be able to make it by yourself until the end. But just to be sure that you do it correctly, you could use this other earring as a pattern and you could continue from here on. Now you take two black and two pink beads and go under the second thread bridge and reinforce because the next row will be decreasing and continue the same way until you finish your earring and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. If you want to make a bracelet just continue this until you create a bracelet. Okay guys and as I continued beading following the pattern this is what I have. If you still haven't done this just pause this video and continue from this part to the end watching from this earring and now I need three black beads my earring finding and three black beads and what I want to do is go here through some beads in this direction. And what I want to do next guys is to zigzag through my beads in order to reinforce my earring. Okay, and I'm going through some beads in this direction and then here I will make a loop, go twice through the loop I've made and I'm going to pull. Then I will go through some beads in this direction. And I'm going to cut this tail thread. Then I will put my needle on this tail thread. I make a knot here. I'll go through some beads and I cut it. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back 
Okay guys, and now my long wavy beaded earrings are ready, so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't, also like, share and comment. You might want to become a member that comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.